throughout the Second World War, there were many German war crimes committed on the battlefields of Europe. There were death squads who would follow the advancements of the German army. They would then gather up groups of civilians, and then slaughter them in graves they ordered the victims to dig themselves. But the Hitler Youth would be also on the front line, and these were dangerous groups of teenagers who were fanatical Nazis and had been indoctrinated for years. Hitler wanted the Hitler Youth to lay down their lives for the Nazi party, and Germany, and they would. But there was a group of teenage Hitler Youth members who would become executioners, and they would be responsible for the slaughter of hundreds of Allied soldiers during the war. They especially were involved in the executions of many men who should have been taken as prisoners of war following the Normandy landings. Join us today as we look at the teenage SS executioners that shot hundreds of Allied soldiers, and as always, to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. The 12th SS Panzer Division Hitler Jugend was part of a plan devised by Arthur Axman to bring Hitler Youth members into the Second World War. He presented this to Heinrich Himmler, who consented that Hitler Youth members born in 1926 and were around 16 or 17 were to be accepted as part of a Waffen SS division. Hitler approved this and the boys were then recruited. Around 2,000 boys were brought in to the division and this would grow to around 16,000 recruits who were then sent for training in Belgium. But this was not a normal SS division as the boys were heavily indoctrinated and one member said, in the Waffen SS you couldn't do anything if an Unterführer hit you during the training. The purpose of the training is to make you just as they are, it's pure sadism. With this, the boys who made up the 12th SS Panzer Division Hitler Jugend were then made part of the 1st SS Panzer Corps. They were then moved to Caen in Normandy before the D-Day invasion took place, and they had by this time around 150 tanks at their disposal. They would be kitted out with Panzer IVs and other pieces of heavy artillery, but the Hitler Youth Division were notorious for the war crimes they would carry out. The heavy brainwashing they were subjected to led to many to believe that they were justified in slaughtering any civilians who were not part of the German army. Whilst they were heading to Normandy, they carried out their first large-scale war crime, as they executed 86 Frenchmen on the 1st of April, 1944, as the locals and the French resistance had damaged and sabotaged the railway, which was used by the Germans. They then rounded up all of the men who had houses on each side of the railway tracks, and then 70 men were shot at the side of the line, and inside of the village they killed another 16. The commander of the convoy, Walter Hark, who would order this, was later sentenced to death for this, but he would escape execution, and he was then sentenced to life imprisonment. But when they were in Normandy, the 12th SS Panzer Division hit the youth, were the closest to the landing beaches, but there was a problem when the D-Day invasion took place. The night before, Adolf Hitler had been up late ranting and raving about the war, and he had ordered his entourage to let him sleep, and because of this he was in such a deep sleep that the Nazis did not dare wake him. Whilst he was asleep, D-Day happened, and the division had to wait until they were authorised to do so an attack by Hitler himself. Some were ordered to deal with the parachute landings, but this was a big flaw in the effectiveness of the division's ability to repel the Allies. The division was sent near to Sword and Juno beaches, and they were attacked from the air, but trouble was on the horizon as a group of panther tanks ran out of fuel. Their organisation was not the greatest, but at 10am on the 7th of June, D-Day plus one, the SS division moved towards Caen. They were told to stop the Canadian advances from Juno and to drive them back to the coast, but they could not break through the Canadian assaults, despite being backed up by other panzer divisions. 15 tanks from the Hitler Youth Division were destroyed, and despite pushing some Canadian soldiers back, they could not repel them at all. They could not repel them all. At the end of the day, the 12th SS were forced to retreat, and even the enemy was confused at their decision-making, focusing on the stronger points of the Allied assault, rather than exploiting the Allied weaknesses. But further attacks continued against the Canadians in the days and weeks after D-Day, and let's remember that these were very young soldiers, fighting in the heat of the battle in Normandy. However, they would also commit another massacre on the day after D-Day, as they would round up 20 prisoners of war, and would shoot them in the back of the head in the Ardennes Abbey Massacre. The executioners were categorically stated to have been the 12th SS Panzer Division Hitler Youth, who were known for their fanaticism, 
and the fact that they were plucked from the Hitler Youth and were very young. As they were fleeing from France, they did continue to execute civilians, and they slaughtered 34 French men and women in the towns of Plomion and Tavaux. The fighting around Normandy had seen the Hitler Youth Division depleted, with around 8,000 men dying or being captured. 80% of its tanks were lost, and huge scores of its artillery and other vehicles also perished. It was a complete disaster. But the division continued to fight on, despite the heavy losses that they did sustain. They would be involved in the Battle of the Bulge, or the Ardennes Offensive. They were attached to the 6th SS Panzer Army, and when they reached the front they suffered heavy resistance, and they could not move the Germans who had dug in. The 12th SS Panzer Division Hitler Youth had been decimated by this point, and they only had 26 tanks and guns left, and the numbers of soldiers were heavily depleted. The remaining men were ordered to Hungary to be part of an attack on the oil fields there, and they took part in other smaller attacks and offensives, but the remaining men would all surrender as the war came to an end. Throughout their time in service during the Second World War, the 12th SS Panzer Division Hitler Jugend had been part of some of the most important defensive operations that Hitler had to throw at the Allies. But ultimately, every single one of them failed, and the division were pushed back heavily each time, and they did suffer extremely heavy losses. They were a group made up of boys and teenagers who had been born in 1926, meaning that when they were on the battlefields of Normandy, following D-Day, they were just 17 and 18 years old, but they were incredibly dangerous foes. They did not have much experience on the battlefield, but they were ardent Nazis, who were more than willing to lay their lives down for the Nazi cause, which was incredibly dangerous. They would follow Hitler into any fight and battle that they were thrust into, and were incredibly devoted to their Führer, and the training they were given further indoctrinated them into their Nazi beliefs and causes. But as mentioned, they suffered heavy losses, and almost completely capitulated, suffering heavy casualties at the Battle of the Falaise Pocket, inside of the Normandy Bocage, and then during the Battle of the Bulge. The division was in effect a group of teenagers who were willing to slaughter and execute in the name of the Nazis and Adolf Hitler, and the war crimes they were responsible were huge. There are today still many of these that have yet to have been uncovered, as it's certain that more civilians were slaughtered by the teenage executioners of the 12th SS Panzer Division Hitler Youth. They would at the end of the war surrender to the US Army, but this was only the beginning, as their stories of war crimes would emerge. There were of course a mix of senior officers in the division that were older, but these were mixed with the members of the Hitler Youth, and by this time the war was coming to an end, replacements were being brought mostly from just the Hitler Youth. But they also committed arson and assault inside of many French towns and cities, and the 12th SS Panzer Division Hitler Youth were the teenage executioners who slaughtered many civilians and prisoners of war. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.